this is an amoeboid cell and it's displaying a type of motion which is described as an amoeboid motion. As biologists struggled to classify protists into taxonomic groups, many classification schemes grouped the amoeboid cells together. Unfortunately, it appears that this type of cell shape and movement is not a derived feature shared by a taxonomic group, but rather an ancestral eukaryotic feature. And many groups which aren't particularly closely related display this cell morphology and this type of movement. This type of cell even exists in animals. Human white blood cells exhibit this amoeboid motion. The cellular slime molds may display this type of movement until cells fuse to form a multicellular structure. In two groups, this type of cell encases itself in a hard shell. So radiolarins are amoeboid cells which create a case of silica and their false feet or pseudopods form these fine structures which can project through openings in this outer casing. Another group known as foraminiferans compose an organic casing around themselves which can include a number of inorganic components from the environment. Radiolarins and foraminiferans are important in the fossil record since their hard shells fossilize more readily than the softer cytoplasm of a protist. The group specifically known as amoebozoans includes a number of free-living forms in both soil and fresh water, and a few which can be parasitic, including some which can cause intestinal disease in humans. Cells such as this one have false feet or pseudopods which can be projected from the cell as the actin cytoskeleton is reorganized. The cytoplasm is pulsed throughout the cell, known as cytoplasmic streaming, as myosin filaments pull on the actin skeleton. Food items are ingested through phagocytosis and digested, and there can be contractile vacuoles which expel water as the cells maintain their osmotic balance.